Well, my dad was a crane operator for uh, 40 years. Uh, it's my profession, and I happen to love it. So it, it's it's a passion for us. You know, we're not we're not part time. This this is our life. My sons are in the business. So I got third generations in this business now. Many of the buildings that we were building, you didn't really need a tower crane, except for vertical height. There was nothing that could be lifted, that couldn't be lifted with something smaller. But the only thing to reach those heights was a tower crane. So you have these massive cranes on these little sliver properties that were 25, 50 feet wide that didn't require a tower crane, but there was no other alternative. You know, I've always been an inventor type person. I'm always uh, making a better mouse trap, always trying to fix, you know, change something or make it a little better. And when I, when I was building buildings, I would be in this tower crane I'd be, and I'd be saying to myself, why do they have this tower crane here? They don't need it. You know, I'd be on a job and I knew, you know, as an operator, you didn't need a tower crane other than the vertical height. The only reason the crane was there was for vertical height. And as many times I said, somebody's going to come up with something. I'm like basically uh, 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 designed it in my house. Um, I built scale models of it in my home by hand. The footprint that it needs is very small. It has a, a because it's so small, it has a low impact on the structure of the building. Um, so they don't have to reinforce the building uh, barely at all to support this machine. Uh, when you put a tower crane up, you have a three man crew, which is very expensive. You have to have master riggers on board. Um, as, uh, while you're erecting them and jumping them. And then you have to go through all these jump cycles, which is the most dangerous thing. You know, machines that uh, fell, one of them was done during a jump. A couple of accidents that happened during jumping. That's why the city made all those new regulations about it. It's a very dangerous operation. So we put it into manufacturing, and the minute the thing hit the, strip, hit, hit the, the, uh, fa the warehouse here, the, the, the demand was unbelievable. My phone's still ringing off the hook over it because there was a huge need for it, um, and it filled the need very well, and it did the job. One day, they just pulled all the permits, gave them stop work orders, and sent me a letter saying, uh, sorry, you, 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 your approval's revoked. And their, their basis of it was, non-factual and made no sense at all. And that's that's what America's all about. Finding a finding a problem, solving it, providing a, a, a means to to profit from it. That's the American way. This country was built on it. This is the same thing.